<clears throat> hey family, how you doing? It's your brother Varmir Dees. This is Team Marathi, everybody. Your Team Marathi, Sword Lightning. How y'all doing? <clears throat> Man, um, let's start off with the normal. Peace to you. Peace to your home. Peace to your family. Peace to your community. Peace to your ancestry. Peace to my community. Peace to my ancestry. Peace to the nation. You, I, they are creating. <clears throat> Excuse me. Peace also to the Gothic forces, to the Great Spirit of Love, the Mother of the Lord. How y'all doing? Um, I need some water. Mm. So, <clears throat> you know, I've been contemplating something about our people. You know, um, integration has failed us. Uh, I was talking to uh, a white woman about six years ago, uh, a little bit over actually, and I said to her, wow, uh, seven years ago, and I said to her that, because uh, she was asking me questions about race, and I was, and I looked at her after a couple of questions, and I said, listen. You want me to tell you the truth or you want me to lie to you? And she uh, goes, I want you to tell me the truth, obviously. And I go, no, no, no. I need you to think about this because when I tell you the truth, I ain't going to sugarcoat it. I ain't going to make you feel comfortable. I'm not going to care about your feelings. I'm going to tell you the cold, hard truth. <laughs> and you're not going to like it. You're probably going to want to get angry. And she's like, no, I'm not going to get angry. I go, you're going to want to get angry. I didn't say you're going to. You're going to want to get angry, <clears throat> and then you're going to probably want to accuse me of being the problem with all of these things. Um, and uh, I go, now, I remind you, before you answer this, that <coughs> you yourself have told me that if more black people were like me, then um, black people would be dramatically different. And I think the reason for you believing that is because <clears throat> you think that I pay difference to white folks. She goes, no, 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 it's because you're so articulate and this, that, that, and this. And I go, yeah, but I'm still on the same level as you. This is a woman who I worked with, by the way. And I go, I'm still uh, on the same level as you. If I started to climb, you'd see people treat me significantly different. So she finally went back. She goes, well, trust me, I'm not going to get mad. You know, none of this is going to happen, blah, 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 blah. And I said, okay, um, integration is the worst thing that ever happened to black folks. And I go, and I say this as a man who studied Martin Luther King, who idolizes the man. Integration was the worst thing that ever happened to us. And she goes, whoa. But I mean, it's, it's helped you so much. And I go, where did it help us? Before we integrated we had better communities. Our children did much better. Our adults were, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, significantly uh, smarter. Uh, our people were more together. And we have suffered one setback after another since we integrated into your community. It is the worst thing that has ever happened to us. Moreover, uh, Ooh, integration as it relates to the broader community to white to the white community has only meant that you wanted the best from our community you have not wanted all of our community you have not wanted those who you want to beat down on and to keep in a position of subjugation so you could continue to beat down on them that's the society the society does not want those people and then they want to blame those people for what the broader society has done to them. It is the worst thing that has ever happened to us. Um, she was shocked. And she, you know, put on that, that, that face. But I could see behind it that she was kind of stewing. Um, and um, she asked me a question, and I can't remember the, the exact way that she asked me. But it was essentially, um, well, then what? Are black people going to then separate or something? And she said it in such a way to kind of, you know, make it out to be a joke. 
And I said, what do you mean? Most of us are already separated. We live in communities inside your communities. We live in areas where we have no control over, but we live in groups. And if you go to any black city, you'll see there's the black community and then there's white people. If you go to any town, there's the black area and then there's white people. We already live in segregated places. Go, you, the, the problem isn't that, you know, white folks know this. White folks know that we are separated. The majority of black people don't live around white people. The majority of white people don't want to live around black people. Y'all ain't worried about us separating. What you're worrying about <clears throat> is if we ever get our minds together. <clears throat> and if we were to ever actually put ourselves um, into an organized fashion to build a real community. Because you are fearful that we will take what we have been given to you for free and we will start using it for ourselves. We had a little discussion about that. But she wanted to know, and again, this is something, you know, from memory that I'm going from. She wanted to know, um, she wanted me to qualify that. She wanted me to explain what I meant by that. And I said, we, we, at the time I didn't, I didn't cite money, even though now understanding it, I would have, but, um, I said, we give our talents to you. We give our abilities to you. We give our children to you. We give everything that would make for a really good community. We give to you and you take from us and you don't put anything back into our community after you take it. Um, in, in the last couple of years, which I didn't know this then, I've learned, and this is this shows you um, where this society is when it comes to black men. Um, black women like to, the black women not like to, but black women are often represented as um, being disappeared from history, um, from white history. You know, hidden, uh, not hidden colors, um, uh, I can't even remember the movie where the three black women helped NASA. Great movie. Never saw it yet. Have not seen it yet. Just can't get over giving my money to people who exploited us and now want to exploit us to tell us our actual story. But I'm not there yet. I will see it, just not yet. But anyway, so that's a great story. What have you, you know? But here's the thing. Most black people don't understand even what black men have done. So it's kind of I it's I it's idiotic for us to be fighting about oh well black women have been this black women have been that seriously it isn't like black men are being raised up every day to be told that you guys are the greatest you're the most wonderful in fact in fact um you can point to Oprah as a major business holder in this country but List to me any non-sports playing black male that is a billionaire. <clears throat> non-sports playing black male that is a billionaire. I'll do you one better. List to me a non a non-entertainment related black female who's a billionaire. What I what the the um Evolution, though, oh, let me actually touch on this. Uh, the reason why I brought up the black men is because uh, there's this great group of videos that you have to look at from um, YouTube called uh, African American Culture, A Second Look. I think it was done in 1990. And you have to type in Asa, A-S-A, Hilliard, H-I-L-L-A-R-D, um, and you, you should be able to find it. It should be in a list, actually. But um, uh, what they talked about is, one, one of the points they talk about in the, in, in the invention section is that a, the man who helped to break through um, a major problem, which was stopping the Internet from working correctly, was an African was a black man. Did you know that? Did you know it? <clears throat> Excuse me. That the grand unified theorem. Black man. 
we have black people who are doing things. Just like black women haven't been recognized for what they have given, most black men haven't either. And so we need to stop this. We are taking, you know, white issues and we are ingra and we are grafting them onto us. They have the issue with gender. We don't. They do. We don't. So the the, the conversation continued, and there was a specific um, question that she asked um, about us. about us separating. <clears throat> she asked me about the violence in the community. Give me one second, please. Uh, she asked us about the violence in the community, or she asked me about the violence in the community. And I told her, I go, well, look, now this part I did understood. I understood this about economics. I said, well, if you don't have jobs, if you kill um, industry, you take out all the men, things like that, you're all you're going to have tons of violence in the in the community. Um, you, the community surrounding our community always takes our money out, but they never put anything into it ever. So if you, you give us our money that you keep taking out and I bet you in 25 years, our community will be more, will be flourishing in a better way than yours. Moreover, if you even give us a 10th of the money that was stolen from our grandparents, great grandparents, great great grandparents, who were not only slaves, but we forget Jim Crow was all was built around the um, uh, the extrapolation of money from us again and our labor. If you give us even ten percent of that, we'll build our community, and y'all can have your community. We don't want your stuff. We don't want you. We will do it for ourselves, like y'all been telling us to do. We'll do for ourselves, and we will. Uh, we will. I believe in a very short time period, not only build our community up extensively, but we will build ourselves up to, to an extent where we will rival you. And I said, and this ultimately is your fear because historically, even though you have no recollection of it, somewhere in the recesses of your mind, you remember when we got out of slavery, we were able to build communities like that, like that. And in fact, while we were building our community, y'all communities were suffering and dying. And history does not tell you that, but they were. You had entire plantations, plantation communities, which were uh, very well developed, highly populated by wealthy people, which disintegrated rapidly when black people left and started building our communities. Why? Because white folks in the South and someone in the North had no clue how to run them. They knew nothing about running it. They not only knew nothing about running it, they had no idea how to plant. They had no idea how to upkeep the thing. I mean, it's, it's a story which shows the incompetence of a people who projected their superiority onto the fact that they could subjugate, beat, uh, beat molest, and kill another people. That was the superiority of the folks, is your people were just barbarians. You could kill and you can beat and you can molest. That's the best thing you could do. You didn't manage nothing. The people who were on the plantation managed, but didn't get uh, the rewards for it. And as soon as we were able to leave and we were able to build ourselves, build for ourselves, we saw who were the superior ones, at least in that aspect. And that's when new laws had to be passed to make sure that we got pushed back onto those lands. Now, does that mean that we are superior? No. But it should have told you and your people that maybe you might want to befriend these folks and they'll just help you help yourselves. Now you've broken us because you can't even stand the thought of us being by ourselves. Well, We'll get there someday. And the bad part is, once when we get there, y'all I mean, ain't going to be able to come. Because so many of us are going to be sick of you, we ain't going to invite you in anymore. And that was kind of the end of the conversation. These are things that we have to think about. These are the, not things that come to me easily, and these are, things that, these are not things that I said to her easily. But they are things that must be rectified in black minds. 
You, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. I will see y'all later. Peace.